Queen Bees, welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? I hope you can stay longer and subscribe to my channel and if you're coming back here in my channel, thanks Queen Bee, welcome back! Alright you guys, today's video we are going to talk about Chanel Coromandel. So we do have a decant of Chanel Coromandel for 30ml. This is given to me by Essentials. Essentials, shout out, thank you so much for the gift. So today I'm gonna be talking about your decant. Thank you so much. I am going to talk about the Chanel Coromandel decant that you sent me. You guys, if you're looking for decant of the original perfumes, if you're trying to choose your options, still thinking what's the best perfume for you, and you don't want to buy the full bottle of the exact perfume, you can go to All Essentials Instagram account. They ship nationwide in the Philippines. There's a lot of options for you there. You can go there. Okay, shout out to Chanel. Uh, Shout out to All Essentials. Thank you so much for your gift. So let's go ahead into the review. Please help me welcome her, the world renowned Chanel Caramandel. Ta da! Okay, so this is Chanel Caramandel, you guys. This is 30 ml decant, just like what I've mentioned earlier. And we do have here our handy dandy notebook where, we usu where I usually write my notes. Okay. So for Chanel Coromandel, according to Fragrantica, it is an amber woody fragrance and this is launched in 2016. This is just released in the market just recently in 2016, so that was like 7 years ago. Okay, so this is new. Let's go into the notes. So for the top notes, ooh, the kids are playing in the background, even though it's raining. All right, so the notes, we do have the top notes. We have bitter orange, we have citruses, we have neroli. Oh, okay, so there's just three of them. The common scent for the top note is just citrus, okay? It's very citrusy. The bitter orange, it's tart citrus. The citruses, it's like a general term for citrus note or citrus ingredient okay and neroli neroli is citrusy light and slightly bitter notes so everything is on the citrus side so if you're going to do the initial spray or later on we are going to do the initial spray we can expect that we can smell just citrus okay let's go to the middle notes we have patchouli Oris root, rose, and jasmine. We have four notes on the middle note, and the common scent for them is floral, lemony, and woody. Okay, so we do have here oris root. Uh, what is oris root? So, according to my research, okay, it is powdery, it is earthy, it's rooty scent with woody violet flower nuances. Now let's go into the base notes. Base notes, we have white chocolate. Ooh, I love white chocolate. That's, the, that's my favorite chocolate flavor, white chocolate. Okay, we have sweet, creamy, and lactonic, lact lactonic, lactonic. Okay, that is white chocolate. We have benzoin. It's warm, it's balsamic, and it has a reminiscent of vanilla. We have amber, it's sweet, it's resinous, um, it's cozy, warm. We have incense, okay? So incense is a smoky note, okay? Like frankincense or olibanum. So in other words, it's a smoky note. Next one, we have olibanum. It's fresh, balsamic. It is somewhat green, woody, and spicy fragrance with a fruity top note. And we do have woody notes as well. It's a general term for notes that is all wood, all woody. It's really strong, intense, woody scent. Okay, that is woody notes. We have musk. So musk is very common in our perfumes, base notes. It has this animalic scent. It also has this very strong, sweet scent and earthy scent okay that is musk <laughs> i am laughing because the, the kids are shouting in the background right now i'm not sure if you can hear them but they're shouting okay funny kids all right so those are the notes you guys as you can see it's just a very few notes it's really straightforward on the top note it's citrus on the middle note it's floral and earthy and woody on the base note it's more on the vanilla sweet resinous scent 
it's very straightforward, right? So let's go to the initial spray and let's check if we can really smell the citruses in the initial spray. Um, we are going to spray this on a piece of paper and we are going to spray this on my hand as well so that we will know if there is a difference between um, testing the perfume. Because usually if we are shopping for perf perf perfumes, um, the attendant usually spray it on a piece of paper, right? But then again, it's different on our skin because there are already other molecules or chemistry. It's a different chemistry now already. So we need to spray it on a piece of paper and on our skin. If you buy perfume, make sure that you spray it on your skin as well so that you will know how does it smell on your skin. Okay, so let's go to the initial spray. We do have here the 3ml bottle of Chanel Caramondel, which is really small and cute, but this is enough in checking the... Okay, I'll just use my other hand. I am lefty, by the way. I am a lefty. One, two. Ooh, that's enough. Two sprays. But actually, one spray is enough to know the scent of Chanel Caramondel because this perfume is there. This perfume is strong. Like, the concentration, the saturation of the ingredients, the oil is really there. There. You can smell it. You can already smell this. Um, I will also spray it on my hand. Gosh, the initial spray on my hand there is really strong. So you have to be careful with it. You have to wait for like a couple of seconds like... If you're, if you're gonna spray Chanel Cromandel, um, what are you gonna do is spray and then wait for a couple of seconds, let it settle, and then another spray, let it settle. Because if you're not gonna do that, you are going to suffocate yourself. You need to be careful with this. Um, fragrances with these perfumes because their flavors, their notes, their concentration, and the saturation of the scent is really um, pure. It's really strong, so you need to be careful. It doesn't mean that it's strong, it smells bad. It's just that the concentration is really concentrated. <laughs> okay, what's the other word for that? But anyways, we do have here the initial spray on the piece of paper. Mmm, it's citrus. Really citrusy, spicy, um, green, bitter scent on the piece of paper on my hand there is like a hint of bathroom um car air freshener in here i think that is because of the citrus because most of the malls most of the cars or taxis their air freshener is usually citrus so that's probably the reason why i can um, imagine like a, a car air freshener uh, bathroom scent in this perfume because of the citrus but it's good it's actually good on the initial spray you can already smell this lactonic this um, creamy chocolatey scent in there but more on the citrus more on the orange uh, scent Mm, it's really good. This smells really good, guys. Ooh, I love it. It's very rich. It's pure and it's really... It smells really expensive. Mm, it's really good. So the initial spray is good. The initial spray is true to its top notes, um, which is citrus okay? And yes, warning, you need to be careful in spraying it. Just like what I mentioned earlier, you need to wait for a couple of seconds before you can move ahead and spray more on your body because it tends to be really aggressive and then you might suffocate yourself, okay? And this kind of perfume is not really, um, it's not like a waste of sprays because one spray is actually enough to fill in the room, okay? That's how strong it is, that's how concentrated it is. Okay, that's the initial spray. It's really good. I just want to smell it. And then look at the skies. Huh? <laughs> it's really good, guys. Though it is a reminiscent of like a bathroom, but a very expensive hotel luxury mall bathroom because of its citrus notes. Mm, I like this. 
I love this. I love it. Let's go into the dry down. So I do have here the dry down on my clothes. And then I also sprayed here a couple of minutes ago. Mm, it smells like incense now. It smells like... Is that... Okay, why am I even laughing? It smells like frankincense. It smells rich. It smells pure. I love this smell. It's really addictive. It's probably because of the incense because I love the smell of smudge sticks. I love the scent, the smell of the smoke of the incense. And yes, it's really addictive. That's what I can smell here on my skin, on my clothes. It smells the same. It smells the same on my clothes. It smells the same on my skin. It smells good. The dry down is, you can already smell the chocolate, the white chocolate, the lactonic vibe in there, the white chocolate vibe in there. You can also smell the incense in there. It smells like the rich tita in church. Mm -hmm. It smells like that. It smells good. I love the smell. Uh, the incense in there is really addictive. My nose is picking up on the incense because my nose is used to smelling smudge sticks, palo santo. So that's what I'm picking up now. Mmm, so good. I can't help smelling it. I love it. Okay, that is the dry down. Next to dry down is the demographic. So I have already mentioned earlier that I can imagine this to the titas in the church. Rich titas in church with Louis Vuitton bag or mess bag. I am not going to recommend this to the younger demographic like students, teenagers. It's not going to be perfect for them because this one smells like on the mature level. So I'm going to recommend this to the working class, to the titas, to the moms. Yes, that's the demographic. And more on the older side of the demographic. It will really suit them. Um, this smells like very mature yet really sophisticated person. Okay, that is the demographic. Next one is the occasion. This is definitely a special kind of occasion perfume, okay? You can wear this on weddings, like the big occasions in your life, promotion. Um, uh, if you are running for presidency, like you won the presidency, this is like the perfect perfume for that. You can also wear this to grand openings, to if you are the special guest of a certain occasion, this is really good perfume for that. Um, everyday kind of fragrance, no, this is not an everyday kind of fragrance, but if you like to wear this every day, if you want to smell like you're going to a special occasion every day, then yes, you can definitely wear that. I would really support if you're gonna do that. I support you, okay? So that is for the occasion, guys. Let's go to the weather. So just like what I always mention here in my channel, since we are in a tropical country, we only have two seasons, which are rainy and um, sunny days. This is good for summer, summer season. This is perfect for beach outings because of the citrus vibe, the zesty, the energetic vibe of the citrus. You can also wear this on a rainy season of course it's going to complement the coziness of the ambience or of the vibe because if it's rainy the vibe tends to be cozy just comforting something like that this one is really good for that because of its um, white chocolate note you can smell the white chocolate note on the um, dry down of this scent on your skin and the incense I can smell the incense in there more on a day perfume Actually, you can also wear this for a night perfume like dates, movie dates. So yes, for me, I can wear this on summer. I can also wear this on date nights for the weather. Next to the weather, we have longevity. So the longevity for this one is excellent. It lasted long. It lasted like 12 hours on my skin and it lasted like forever on my clothes like yes the next day you can still smell the chanel caramel on your clothes and yes on your skin if you're going to spray this in the morning you don't have to respray again in the afternoon because the scent is still there it's really there but you know there is already the skin scent vibe on it because you are already wearing it for a couple of hours okay it's still there you don't have to really respray it again so you can really save money because you don't have to spray it over and over again okay that is the longevity it lasts long 
okay next one is the silage so for the silage is really strong on the initial spray as well so I've mentioned earlier that you need to be careful when you're spraying it on yourself for the silage the first two three hours of wearing this fragrance the silage is still there people can still smell you okay there is this trail of fragrance that is following you is still there next on the silage we do have the projection just like the silage the projection is great on the initial spray and it's still there on the first to third um, hour of wearing the fragrance okay so projection and silage is excellent it means that you are buying quality perfume if the silage and projection is there that's one of the elements of the perfume that you need to consider if you are buying it because it really adds the characteristic of the perfume right so next one is the overall scent category of Chanel Coromandel is very zesty it's citrusy it's smoky incensey vibe and a hint of chocolate okay so you know when you are thinking about those notes you would like think that are they complementing each other like the smoke and the citrus and the chocolate are they complementing yes they are very much beautifully complementing with each other okay it's so nice um right now my nose is picking up on the incense more on the incense the citrus and then later on the chocolate this is one of the perfume that i reviewed that i can't stop smelling myself the same feeling when I smell a book or a magazine or a notebook, it's the same feeling. Like this one, I can't stop smelling notebooks. I have the same feeling when I'm smelling Chanel Cromandel on my clothes and on my skin. <sighs> it's so good. That's the video, guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, that's Chanel Cromandel. You can buy the 3ml decant in L Essentials. I'm gonna link their store in the description box below. And yes, that has been the video. If you like this video, video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the notification bell button so that you will be notified for the next upload. And please don't forget to subscribe. It will really help this channel, guys. And yes, that has been the video. I'm gonna see you on my next video. Bye!